Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to use uh, a supercharger, a V6 supercharger, on ice cream sandwich. Um, this, I'm using my Nexus S to show you, um, and there's a couple extra steps you have to do to get it to work on ice cream sandwich. What this is, is a RAM memory um, uh, optimizer. It makes it, uh, your phone use the memory more efficiently, which leads to faster performance and better battery life. Um, really cool, it makes fun a lot faster. I'm doing this right now on AOKP Milestone 4, but it'll work on any ice cream sandwich ROM. So, um, this is, right now I'm on the thread, um, the official thread for it. Um, but there's another thread that you have to get the download from. It's just a single post, it's in the middle of um, that thread. It's called V6 Supercharger for Android Update 9, uh, Release Candidate 6.9. Um, I'll include the link for this in the description. Basically, right click and hit save link as. Uh, window will pop up and hit save. Um, I already have it saved. But you're going to take that, um, go to your phone, and transfer that to the root of your SD card. And the root of your SD card just means don't put it in a folder. Now, go to your phone and you're going to get an app. And I'll show you the app real quick. Uh, it's called Script Manager. And it's a free app. You can get it from the market. Um, it's going to ask you, it's going to have a set up thing, hit OK. Now, it's going to show you the contents of your SD card. Scroll down to the bottom and click on your supercharger um, script. And it'll look like this. Make sure that that uh, little green Android is on. It'll start off off, but make sure you uh, tap it and uh, then just hit run. Um, it's going to go through a setup process, and if you haven't done it before, then um, you're going to have to... Uh, Tell it, you know, what scrolling speeds you want, and I'll just choose scrolling speeds one. Um, um, just make sure you have the keyboard up. Um, mine, I've already gone through the setup process, but basically you just uh, uh, hit enter until you get to a screen of that looks like this. It says printer, press enter, and come get some. So you do that. It's going to bring up a big old menu. Okay, it's got like 30 options. You're going to be like, ah, what do I choose? But uh, I'll show you real quick. The 512 horsepower one is the one that you want to use. Um, 512 horsepower, that just means uh, how much RAM it has. And this phone has 512. Um, if your phone has over seven, uh, over three quarters of a gigabyte, or if it has uh, uh, 254, then use one of those. But if you have a 512 megabyte uh, RAM, you're going to use this. I use option 7. You can use 5, 6, or 7. Okay? Basically, you're going to enter um, 7 down here, and then just hit enter. Um, and what it'll do is it'll, it'll tell you what it's doing. Um, it'll lock the home, the launcher, in the memory, which means that if you hit home, you know, sometimes it has to reload. Um, it's not going to do that anymore. It's just going to lock it in the memory. Um, and it's also going to set a certain amount of memory that apps are allowed to use. So, uh, you know, let it do its thing. Um, uh, it'll change the values that are already on here. Um, and then once it's done, it's going to ask you if you want to reboot. Um, it's going to say, you know, it's going to talk about super clean wiping the Dalvik cache and all. But, um, don't do that on this ice cream sandwich. I'll show you why in a second. Um, see, it's telling me about the super clean right now. Um, Oh, I don't need to tell it to go through this. Alright. Um, so basically it's just going to ask me to do a super clean um, uh, restart, which means wiping the Dalvik cache. Um, now, uh, you don't do that, as I said. Um, so, it's done right now. Uh, hit no if it asks you to restart. So, back at the home screen. Open up the browser, all right. Go up here, and you're gonna enter um, this. Um, let me get to it. All right, you're gonna enter Android. This is the extra step you have to do um, to get this to work. But you hit Android dot Mimica Mimic M I M I C Android dot Mimic dot C A Okay, android.mimic.ca, and then hit go. 
as you can see, it's just going to be um, a, a web app. Okay. So right here, it's going to say choose a file. Tap on that, and it's going to bring up this. Go to Root Explorer. If you don't have this app, get it. It's like a $2, $3 app, um, and it's the best file explorer out there. Um, tap on it, um, and if you aren't already, um, basically it'll bring you to this screen. Scroll down and go to System, and then scroll down and go to Framework. Okay, and it's now a whole bunch of jar folders. Scroll down, you want the services.jar, and tap on that. Okay, so now you've got the, that uh, file selected, you're going to hit the upload button. Okay, the page will reload, um, and it should only take a second uh, to upload. Um, and it should tell you what phone and ROM you're running right here. Uh, mine says it's for the Galaxy Nexus, but I am running it on the Nexus S. Um, it's because the AOKP is built for all sorts of different devices. But it says download type, services.jar or cmw flashable zip. Go with the zip file. Um, let's see, gotta get selected, there you go. So select it, and then down here, it'll say download, and tap on that. So, um, it should download pretty fast, that's right there. Um, let's just tap it, open it up. Uh, it's not gonna open, but, um, so it's in your downloads folder. Um, you can go back to Root Explorer now, and go to the SD card where it's saved, and then go down to download and find it um, where did it go there it is nope um, huh. where did it go OM priority AOK there it is OM priority charger 1.3 uh, AOKP it should be a zip file Take it, uh, long press it, hit move, um, just put it on the root of your SD card, just take it out of the folder, so it should be, you know, right here. Alright, so go back home. Now, I told you not to um, restart, that's because we're going to restart it now. So hit reboot, and then tell it to go to recovery. Um, but what this does is the services jar is different on Android on uh, 4.0 than it was on Gingerbread, so you have to patch it, and that's what that uh, web app does. Okay, so it's booting into recovery right now. Alright, you're going to go to wipe. Oh, the camera's not focusing. But go to wipe, wipe cache. Yes. Let it wipe. And then go back up here and hit wipe. It's not focusing, sorry about that. And just wipe the Dalvit cache. So I just wiped the cache and the Dalvit cache. Now go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip. Okay, and select that zip that we downloaded. Let me see. Here it is. The OOM priority charger. Um, 1.3. Select it and... Tell it to install. Okay. Alright. Go back and reboot. Okay. Um, that's all you have to do. It'll now be supercharged. You don't have to do anything else with it. Um, it should be noticeably faster. Uh, there shouldn't be as much lag. You're going to have uh, better multitasking. So uh, try it out. Um, uh, I'd go to the link in the description for uh, all the downloads and all. I'll link to the uh, forum where I got it. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed.